guys, Tat Landano here. First things first, I want to thank all of you for your support, for watching my videos, for liking, for commenting. And to those of you who have subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. For those of you who haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so now. Why waste your time? Just go ahead and subscribe, it doesn't hurt. If you want me to produce more real estate content, I'll be happy to do so. Why don't you comment below what kind of content you want me to share with you because I'm happy to do so. Remember my content's all about real estate, real estate investing, real estate sales, how to become the best real estate agent you can be, and most importantly, we're gonna be talking about money as well on this channel. So let's get to it. I'm starting a new series called Tat's Best Ways to Get Listings, where I show you and share with you my favorite ways to get listings, the easiest ways to get listings, listings as we all know, are properties, homes for sale, apartments, land, whatever it is, it's what we do, we sell listings. And remember, the way to become a million dollar real estate agent, a millionaire real estate agent, is by the three L's, yes? Remember, the millionaire real estate agent by Gary Keller? Millionaire real estate agent. Three L's, leads, listings, leverage. I'll say it again, leads, listings, leverage. So. This series is gonna be about all the ways I get listings, my favorite ways. So let's get started. Number one, you get listings by focusing on prospecting and delegating your admin. So in order to get listings, you gotta be prospecting all day. You gotta be talking to people. You gotta be that annoying person at parties that gives out your business card. You gotta be going to the church dance and make sure everybody knows that you're a realtor. You gotta be talking to people at restaurants, going to bars, doing what you do going to the park, going to your kid's school, telling everybody that this is what you do. You're a real estate agent. So if you're gonna be doing that on the phone, on your Instagram, if you're gonna be doing that, you don't have time to be dealing with administrative tasks. What I mean by that is the broker loading, so putting the property up on the MLS or Zillow, the taking of the calls and setting appointments, the ordering of the sign, the making sure the paperwork is correct, the inputting, everything into the CRM. That, you should delegate, all paperwork, okay? The online form, all that should go to administrative assistant. As soon as you are free of all the administrative tasks in your business, you will have more time to prospect. And if you have more time to prospect, you will get more listings, guaranteed. Second way to get listings is call the for sale by owners. Guys, yes, you might be thinking, oh my God, these people have been called over and over again. But let me let you in on a secret. For sale by owners are low hanging fruit. They want to sell. The only thing they don't want to do is pay a commission. They think that you are overpriced. They think that us real estate agents make too much money, but little do they know that selling a home takes time, energy, and a lot of patience. And this is what we do for a living. So if you approach the for sale by owners with the right script, in other words, you say the right thing to them, chances are they will sign with you. In fact, when I got started, all my listings came from for sale by owners. In fact, I know real estate agents in my cities who are top, top brokers. They make millions of dollars a year just by calling the FISBOs. Yep, that's what we call for sale by owners, FISBOs, for those of you who didn't know. So focus on calling those FISBOs because they actually want to sell. They just don't want to pay a commission, but there's a way around that sometimes. There's a way to convince them through the proper script. Number three, call your expireds weekly. So every single day, even in this market, there's a property that doesn't sell. Now, in some cities, it's very easy to get the information of the expired listing. In other cities, they have something called the Privacy Act, so it's hard to get that information. But either way, if there is an address on Zillow or MLS that has expired, that you knew was on the market and then it isn't, you should find a way to contact that seller and convince them that you're the right person for the job. Again, an expired seller, an expired property, expired listing is low hanging fruit. Why? Because 
they want to sell, but it gets better. They already tried selling with a real estate agent. So therefore they already know, hey, in order to sell my house, I need a real estate agent. They just chose the wrong one, or maybe they were overpriced, or maybe they got the wrong advice. So it is your duty every single day to call the listings that have expired in your farm area or the area you work. So go ahead, don't be shy, go meet those expires. Number four, your sphere of influence. Who is in your sphere of influence? Your friends, your family, your neighbors, people that know you really, really well, your hairdresser, the person who sells you your clothing at the store that you know, your nail technician. Tackle every single one of the people in your sphere of influence and ask them to ask for referrals for you. In exchange, you could give a nice gift, but basically you should be talking to these people and reminding them what exactly it is that you do for a living. That's right, you're a real estate agent and real estate agents sell homes. Everybody knows somebody that wants to buy or sell especially in this market, it's so hot. People know buyers, people know sellers. And just to let you know, guys, a buyer is usually a listing as well in this market. A lot of buyers need to sell a home in order to buy the next listing. So tackle that sphere of influence. Ask your mother, ask your father, ask your brother, ask your cousin, ask your nail technician, ask your hairdresser. Somebody knows someone who needs to sell a home. Remind them every single time what it is you do and have a real estate conversation with them. Remember, talk to them. Are you looking to buy or sell a home? Do you know anyone who's looking to buy or sell a home? So did you hear? of anyone who's looking to buy or sell a home because I could help them out, okay? So always be having real estate conversations with people and eventually someone's gonna say, oh my God, my listing just expired. Uh, my property didn't sell. Why don't you come see it? So tackle your sphere of influence. In fact, that is the number one way to get listings. If you look at real estate agent statistics, the number one return on investment is usually sphere of influence. The number one way they got listings any given year is through their sphere of influence. Number five, another one of my favorite ways to get listings is Instagram. Yes, take on social media. So Instagram for real estate agents should not be about shredding your stuff in your latest outfit and you know, pictures of you getting in the car. There should be a goal every single time you post a photo. Last year alone, my gross commission income just through Instagram was $150,000. So let's put that into perspective. If I wanted to just focus on social media, on, on Instagram in particular alone, so I'm saying, you know what? I don't want to do anything else. I want to fire my real estate team. I don't want to work so hard, but I want to make sure I get at least 100K or more every year. All you have to do is focus on your Instagram. So remember, every single one of your posts on Instagram should have a call to action and a unique selling proposition. Let me give you an example. So a call to action would be if you are looking to sell your home in this hot market, I have buyers waiting. I have buyers in waiting. In fact, your home might already be sold. Hurry up and call me. I have buyers for you. So that is a call to action. Here's my number. 514, blah, 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 blah. Or direct message me here on Instagram. You gotta tell them what to do. That is a call to action. Then I throw in my unique selling proposition. I continue and I say, in fact, if I don't sell your home in 90 days or less, I'll buy it myself for cash. That is a unique selling proposition. Here's another example of a unique selling proposition. If I don't sell your home in 30 days or less, I'll give you half of my commission. Or when I sell your home, I will pay all your closing costs. A unique selling person, what does that mean? It means that you are something you do for them that is special, that is unique. So if you include your call to action and your unique selling proposition, your USP on the post, chances are people are gonna wake up and pay attention and know that you're a realtor and you're not just some pretty uh, man or woman posing around trying to get attention on Instagram. Remember, social media shouldn't be about vanity. 
there should be a goal and the goal should be make the commissions. So another thing you must be doing on Instagram in order to get listings is answering all the direct messages that you get. Answer every single one of them. That weirdo who texts you might own a property. Oh no. Might need to sell one day. So make sure you have conversations. Real estate's all about conversations. Make sure you have conversations with these people. And remember, I'm talking about organic Instagram. I'm not talking about paid ads here. I'm talking about organic Instagram. You can make six figures every single year just with organic reach through Instagram. So one last thing that you need to consider is you need to be posting real estate content. We don't want to be seeing pictures of your children and your pet every other post. We don't want to see the food you're eating. We want to know that you are the real estate expert in your area or that you at least look like a real estate expert. And that's how you're going to get people to direct message you and say, hey, why don't you come take a look at my house? So there you have it, guys. Those are five strategies I use in my own business, my current business, to get listings. And in order to become a million dollar real estate agent, you need listings. There's no way around it. So comment below which strategy you're gonna tackle first and comment if you've actually used any of these strategies in order to get listings in your real estate business. I wanna know, and don't forget to like, and subscribe and turn on your notification bell. Ding dong. See you next time.